These are five things that you need to change on your Flip 5 as soon as you get it. The first thing we're gonna change is battery profile. So what you'll want to do is go into settings, then search for battery, then just scroll down a bit until you see adaptive battery. Tap on that. Then go into performance profile and then change this to light. What this will do is will reduce its CPU load and increase its battery life by around 5%. And don't worry, as you'll still be able to get good performance because it will automatically throttle up when you're gaming and doing other things that need CPU power. Now, while we're in battery settings, the second thing you'll want to change is protect battery. There's a little toggle there that you'll just want to switch on. Essentially, this will cap the maximum charge to 85%. This sounds like a bad thing, However, it's going to extend the battery life of your Flip 5, so you'll be able to use it in many years to come. Now, if you know you've got a day of travel ahead, you may want to turn this off and top your battery up to 100%. Now, the next thing we'll want to change is the side button. So go back into settings and search again and just search for side and you'll see the top result is side button. Tap on this and you'll be presented with a few different options. Now straight away, you're going to want to turn off press and hold to wake Bixby. Change this to power off menu. Now this is because Bixby is truly awful. Everyone knows Google Assistant is far more capable and is going to provide a better result. The other thing you can do while you're in this menu is also change what the double press does. Now I personally use the camera quite a lot, so I'll probably leave it on quick launch. However, you can change it to open an app of your choice. This is useful if you're always using it to take notes or something. The next thing you'll want to turn on is one-handed mode. So to do this, go into settings and then type one-handed. Then tap on that and just toggle on one-handed mode. You'll see here that it has a gesture and that simply means that you just have to swipe down at the bottom of your screen where the buttons are. This means that if you are using it one-handed, say when you're going around traveling or using it for navigation, you don't have to reach up and possibly drop your phone when you're trying to tap the top of the display. Now, while you're in this mode, you can actually resize the display, just tap in the corner and then drag your thumb up or down and change the size of the display. Now, next up, you'll want to download something called GoodLock. To do this, go to the Galaxy Store, search Good luck. Then just download it. As you can see, we've already downloaded it, so we'll go straight into the app. Good luck essentially allows you to put things like themes on, it allows you to customize gestures, and allows you to also do things with screenshots like quick share and have them delete straight away. So let's download Theme Park and see what we can do. Now this app is only available on the Galaxy Store, so if you're looking in the Google Play Store, you're not going to find it. Now, while we're in this app, you can do things like change the theme, change the keyboard, as well as the icons as well. So it really lets you customize your device and make it completely different to someone else's. This is just one application that's in GoodLock. However, there's so many more things to explore as well. Now, the last thing you'll want to do is close your phone and customize the outer display. Now to do this, double tap to wake it up, then press and hold. This will allow you to swipe through different styles and different wallpapers as well. You can see on this one, there's a few different widgets, which will allow you to quick launch them as well. However, if you just want to see the time and a wallpaper, there's obviously different options here as well. And it will also allow you to customize your other pages here. You can add different widgets. So if you want your quick contacts to call people, if you want a stopwatch or timers, they're available as well. Uh, personally, I use timers all the time, so this is going to be most handy for me. So there we go, five of the features that you're going to want to change on your Flip 5. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to drop a like and subscribe, and remember we're going to be posting a lot more content on this device, so stick around. <laughs>